Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and it's been quite long time so welcome to the channel guys and in this video we're going to start off with a very very important topic under the DSA playlist which is graph data structure yes finally it's happening i know it's been quite the delay but finally we are starting off with graph data structure this video is going to be just the introduction where we talk about what is graph data structure we'll compare it with the tree data structure we'll understand some important terms and concepts related to graph we'll also see some examples and some types so from a beginner's point of view who's starting off with graph topic in dsa this is very very important for someone who's new on this channel guys you can check out the entire dsa playlist we've pretty much covered many other data structures as well as algorithms and we're going in the sequence and now we've come on graph data structures so all right starting off graph data structures with a little bit of theory and trying to understand what exactly is a graph data structure so according to the definition graph consist of a finite set of vertices or nodes and set of edges or links also known as paths sometimes which connects a pair of nodes okay so reading this technical definition is a little difficult right so in simple terms a graph is a non linear data structure consisting of nodes and edges okay this makes sense and it sounds like a definition related to tree data structure right so let me quickly draw a quick graph over here according to the definition so according to the definition a graph is a non linear data structure consisting of nodes which i have drawn in pink and it is connected by edges also known as path also known as link okay so this is a typical graph let me just name these nodes and over here what you can see is that it is linked with multiple nodes right so one node is connected to multiple nodes so this is something which is different compared to a tree data structure i'm guessing you guys already know what is tree data structure what is linear versus non linear data structure we've pretty much covered all that in previous tutorials hence i'm not going over there but the important thing right now to understand is what is the difference between tree and graph data structure because this does look like a tree but it is not a tree because a tree has some cert certain set of rules which we need to understand but it does have some characteristics which we can see that it has nodes it also has edges same like trees right so let's take a difference and then we'll clearly understand the two different data structures which are both non linear but have their own unique properties okay so on the right you can see i have two diagrams trees versus graph and we have the same set of nodes but they are arranged in different way so let's try to understand the differences between these two non linear data structures so the number one is that in a tree there is only one path or edge or link between two nodes so if you consider this node 1 and 2 you can see there is only one link between the two similarly between any two nodes there is always going to be only one single link or edge or link right or path so there is a formula as well in a tree so for n nodes we will always have n minus 1 edges right edges or path let's call it path from now so this is something that we've seen in tree data structure and this is a rule in tree data structure which is not existing in graph data structure so in graph we don't have this rule and we have multiple paths between two nodes so you can see for this particular node 54 we have this path which is going to 16 we have one more path going to 19 we have one more path going to 87 and then 67 so multiple paths are starting off from one particular node right so that's the difference number 1 what's next so the second thing is that in tree we always have a root node so the top node is always considered as root node and it is of significance because whenever we start the traversal remember we always start with the root node and then we trickle down to the lower layers depending upon what we want to find right however in graph there is no such thing as a root node right there is no one specific node which is considered as a primary node or a root node so that's difference number 2 so the third difference is that in a tree we do not have a loop what is a loop is when we start off from one particular node and we visit some n number of nodes and come back to it using some other path okay so if you observe a graph if you start from this node let's call it 1 if you go to 
this is 2 if you go to 19 this is 3 you can come back to the very first node using this path right so there is a cycle that is forming over here and this is only observed in a graph data structure but not in a tree data structure so if you start from any node in a tree data structure you will not be able to come back to that same node using some other path okay so if you start from 16 can you come back to 16 using some other path I can go from 16 to 54 I can go from 54 to 87 but can I come back using some other path no I have to come back with the same path right so there is no cycle being formed over here but a cyclic or a looping structure is formed in graph data structure okay so this is difference number three so point number four is where I mentioned that for tree with n nodes we have n minus one edges so there is no such limit or no such number of edges or no such formula in a graph which can predict the number of edges because we can have any number of paths coming from one particular node right so that's point number four and lastly trees are considered as hierarchical model because just by looking at it you can see that there is a top root level and then we trickle down and it represents you know a kind of like a family structure also if you compare the real world models so hence it is called as hierarchical model graph is considered as a network model wherein you can see multiple nodes connected in a network forming a proper loop also hence it is termed as a network model one thing to note that is a tree is basically an undirected graph which does not have a loop in it so a tree is also a special case of a graph which does not have loop okay this is something that you can keep in mind or make a note if you are making notes of it so this should give you a basic understanding of how the structure of graph is theoretically right now let's talk more about graphs and its different types as well so now that we've understood that in a graph we have multiple paths coming from one particular node now to elaborate that more we also have the concept of directed graph and we also have undirected graph so on the right we have examples but let's quickly go through the theory so in a directed graph also in short it is called as digraph it is a set of vertices or nodes which are connected by edges or paths so these are the same things you know i will be flipping between multiple terms but they pretty much mean the same thing so a directed graph is a set of vertices or nodes connected by edges with each node having a direction associated with it makes sense right directed graph having a particular direction which means that in this example of directed graph you can go from 16 to 54 because there is an arrow from 16 to 54 however you cannot go back from 54 to 16 okay this is what basically a directed graph is that for a particular path there is a direction and to elaborate that direction it is usually represented by arrows makes sense it's not that complex to understand so if you were to see 16 and 19 you can go from 16 to 19 and you can also come back from 19 to 16 because there are two different set of paths basically showing the arrows or basically showing the directions where you can traverse okay for 54 to 67 you can only go from 54 to 67 but you cannot come back this would not be allowed right makes sense now this is directed graph wherein you require two different arrows to show which kind of traversal is allowed and which is not allowed and the other type is undirected graph which you can guess it there is no such you know restriction you can go from 16 to 54 you can come back and hence there are no use of arrows and only one single line between them there is no use of arrows over here because as i mentioned you can traverse both ways it is bi-directional right so in an undirected graph the edges are bi-directional so these are two different types of graphs now graph can further be categorized into some other part now there are more other types of other part now graphs can also be classified into other types based on other properties we'll see that one such property is weighted graphs okay so weighted versus unweighted graphs quickly reading through it a weighted graph is a graph in which each branch is given a numeric weight or a numeric value okay i'll explain to it you have a diagram over here we'll take an explanation but i'm just going quickly through the theory now conversely unweighted graph is a graph in which all paths all edges are considered to have same weight so let's take an example over here a real world example which tries to mimic the structure of a graph 
सो दिस इज वेयर इंटर सिटी ट्रेवल और इंटर सिटी रोड कनेक्शन कैन बी यू नो कंसिडर्ड एज अ ग्राफ मॉडल राइट यू कैन मॉडल अ इंटर सिटी कनेक्शन ऑफ रोड्स और कनेक्शन बाय एयर एज अ ग्राफ वी आर रेज्यूमिंग दैट वी आर ट्राइंग टू मॉडल इट लाइक दैट सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ वेटेड ग्राफ राइट बिकॉज ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम मुंबई टू डेली लेट्स अज्यूम इज फाइव हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स नो दिस इज नॉट द सेम फॉर ट्रेवलिंग फ्रॉम मुंबई टू पुणे लेट्स अज्यूम इट इज टू हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स सो दिस मीन्स दैट ईच ऑफ दिस लिंक ईच ऑफ दिस एज इज कैरिंग अ डिफरेंट वेट राइट सो लेट मी जस्ट एंटर सम रैंडम वैल्यूज ओवर योर सो आई एंटर सम रैंडम किलोमीटर वैल्यूज इज आर नॉट रियली एक्यूरेट वैल्यूज बट दिस बेसिकली शोज दैट ईच ऑफ दिस लिंक is having its own unique numerical value now this is important when you want to you know calculate the traversal so right now the graph is basically a directed graph which i am trying to depict in a way that let's assume that you know traveling from goa to mumbai is possible but from mumbai to goa let's say the road is not built or there is some issues going on so there is no reverse travel allowed right now that is what i am trying to depict here we are just assuming this is not real but let's say you wanted to travel from mumbai to pune right now you can directly go from mumbai to pune which is 200 kilometers or if mumbai to goa was allowed you could have gone from mumbai to goa and then you can do a indirect travel from mumbai to goa to pune which would cost around 200 plus 100 that is 300 kilometers right so these weighted values or weighted graphs are required when you want to calculate the cost between two different nodes and you want to find out which is the most shortest path or you want to find out which is the most lengthiest path depending upon what your operation is or what your task is now there are standard operations on graphs which are you know traversal of graphs and calculation of the minimum path the shortest path all those things but that we will discuss later but what i'm trying to say is weighted graphs are essentially important when it comes to when you want to figure out the cost to travel from one node to other node okay so this was one example of weighted graph a unweighted graph can be probably let's assume the connection of or the network of the internet the world wide web basically what is the world wide web it is nothing but collection of documents web documents and other resources online which are interlinked to each other right a website has multiple web pages and we have links to each other right so clicking on one link is as good as clicking on other link the time required to open both the links is pretty much more or less the same right so you can consider that as unweighted graph so this was a example of that okay so this was weighted graph versus unweighted graph not a very complex topic to understand theoretically at least i hope this is clear let's move ahead now as i mentioned at the start of this video graph data structure is one of the most important topic or sub topic in data structures and algorithms that is because many of the real world models are similar to graph data structure in fact if you have taken the subject of discrete mathematics you have a complete sub topic of graph theory as well which is also similar or exactly the same that we are studying in computer science it's just that the representation is different over there you represent everything in purely mathematical terms over here we have computer science Term terminology used, but what I'm trying to say is graph data structure has a lot of importance because there are many many real world examples which simulate what a graph data structure looks like. Right now, I've just mentioned three simple examples, but just by looking at them, you can see they have such a huge impact. Number one, social network, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, whatever you name it, we have so many social networks which are essentially simulating. what a graph data structure would look like and just to show you here is a simple example where you have few people this is me tanmay over here and these are my friends and these edges basically show who is friend with who okay so divya and pratamesh are friends divya and sachin are friends but, but me tanmay and divya is not friends right so let's say this is a simple social network let's assume it's facebook and each of the node represents a person and each of the edge or each of the link represents whether you are friends or not right so a simple algorithm can be used to determine who to recommend a new friend right for example i am friend with sachin i am friend with prathamesh both sachin is also 
a friend of divya and even prathamesh is also a friend of divya which means that it is likely that i may be knowing divya but i am still not her friend right so facebook will suggest hey do you know divya maybe you want to add her as friend right so this is a simple algorithm and there are many such algorithms in graph to figure out your mutual friends that's how you get your recommendation in mutual friends it looks at different properties for example you and 10 others have been to the same school so you will get recommendation of those guys because you all have went to the same school right so that's an example another example as you can see is maps google maps gps navigation flight simulation i don't even have to show you that we already just saw the example of intercity travel so maps or intercity travel you can consider it as weighted graph when you want to figure out the shortest path let's say you want to travel from goa to delhi right and let's just assume that this is a undirected graph which means you can you know travel between two two different cities both ways or bidirectional i have showed it unidirectional for just for representation purpose in fact let me just remove these arrows all right so let's say you want to travel from goa to delhi so you can go to mumbai first and then to delhi or you can go to pune then you can go to bangalore and then to delhi right so you have two ways and depending upon the weights that is depending upon the distance that is the total distance in these two paths you will make the decision right or maybe you want to you know pick up someone from pune then you have to go through this direction only so it totally depends upon you and this again simulates a entire graph data structure similarly the third example that we talked about is world wide web which is again an example of unweighted directed graph right because one page might link to other but that other page might not link back for example if you are watching this video in the description of this video i have linked our website which is simple snippets.tech right so from this youtube video you can go to simple snippets but maybe on that page i don't have a link back to this video again so this is an example of page 4 to page 6 consider page 4 as this youtube video right and page 6 as our website so you go from this youtube video to our website but you don't come back because there is no link back right so again unweighted unweighted because opening multiple pages takes the similar amount of time so there is no real difference time difference between opening two different pages but directed because one page might lead to other page but the reverse might not be possible right so again world wide web another example of graph data structure similarly there are so so many more real world examples which can be modeled based on graph data structure hence it is very very important think of some more network related models which can be modeled as graph data structure based on the real world scenario and let me know in the comments what do you think i'm going to wrap up this video over here this was the entire graph data structure introduction with some theory with some key terminologies with some differences between graph and tree and the different types of graph based on some properties and also some real world examples in further videos we will explore more in depth of graph data structure we'll see some algorithms we'll also do the implementation where we type some c++ code just like we've implemented many other data structures in this dsa course so we'll do that we'll see some standard graph operations and algorithms so lot more videos are coming on this topic if you haven't subscribed if you're new on this channel please do subscribe let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends and i'll see you guys in the next one peace